all right so i'm totally convinced that the earth is flat but my question is is the actual earth flat or is everything on a flat surface i believe everything is on a flat surface but the earth just might be flat though i'm just not sure but i do know everything is on a flat surface now people to say people will be like bruh people be like bruh if i go to mount everest right now i'll be able to see the curvature of the earth all right bruh so with my theory of everything being on a flat surface because everything is kind of flat even the ocean you know what i'm saying that junk kind of flat but it's a bottom to it you know what i'm saying it's the it's an inner earth like it's an inner earth because the bottom but look though this is mount everest right here and this is the flat earth i put mount everest right here now you got two people that's climbing up this mountain boom 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 and get to the top and this little line that you see is the horizon that people so-called call the curve you know what i'm saying that's where they see the curve of the earth now my eyes can only see but so far so of course i'm going to see a horizon it might look like it's curving but if i fly from on top of mount everest if i fly and go past that so-called curve or horizon it will be more flat land i will be flying or courting to the earth plane so if I fly past that horizon, it's going to be more flat land. And then it's going to be another horizon, which I look out into. Because my eyes can only see but so far. If I go past that horizon, it's going to be more flat land. And at some point, I'll probably reach Antarctica if I keep on flying straight. But this is the thing, though. This is the thing. If the earth is flat, if the earth is flat, is there a dome over it? Because there's a plane, cause like look, bro, let, let, let me actually let me not even get into that real quick about a dome. You got an airplane. The airplane has to fly according to the earth plane. It has to fly straight according to the earth plane so let me just throw that out there because when you in a plane you're gonna look down and you're gonna see everything is on a flat surface everything is on a flat surface all right so now that i got that out the way i'm about to show y'all a clip from uh catching fire hunger games about it being a dome over us now it might be flat but i'm just not sure if it's a dome over us because look bro when it's sunny outside you got clouds over you and then it's like at night those clouds are just erased it's just like erased and then it's just space and then stars or whatever but i personally think bro i personally think that the sky is a hologram the sky is a hologram with pictures of a so-called sky or whatever and then at night the hologram switches but it's like so seamless it's, it's like it's seamless you don't even notice it but it switches and then it's nighttime but i literally think that it's a dome and the dome is a hologram type the dome is a hologram type now let me show you this scene from Catching Fire, Hunger Games. Let me show you real quick. Hold up. Let me close my blinds. All right. Now look, this is where Katniss, she shoots. Now look, you see, you see the lightning. You see the lightning right there. Now watch when she shoots it. Watch when she shoots it. Boom. Hit the dome. Bam. Gone. Gone. Erased. 
erased just like it would day and night. It just it just like it, it erases. It's seamless. So, bruh. Boom. And then it's just gone. And then the dome, the 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 dome, the ferment, whatever you want to call it, it starts to collapse. It starts to collapse. Bro. Bro. I know that they put the truth in movies, dog. They put the truth in movies. And I can tie in the Hunger Games with The Matrix. I can tie this in with The Matrix. Because look. This is the construct scene from The Matrix. It's the construct. It's our loading program. We can load anything from clothing to equipment, weapons, training centers. So basically, he's saying that you can load in anything in this construct. So just like in The Hunger Games, where they be loaded in stuff, where they be loading in stuff, it's just like this. So basically, this is proving that we live in the Matrix, a holographic universe, a holographic universe. But that's not even like that's. All right. So this is another question that occurred to me. OK, so if it is a hologram on the sky. How is lightning created? Okay, so a hologram is technology. It uses electricity. So the hologram uses its electricity to strike down electrical points down the earth. That's how electricity and thunder and all of that happens and stuff like that. That's just what I believe. And I'm not, I'm not saying this is true. It's just allow it to play with your perspective. Like allow this to play with your perspective. We live in a matrix, bro. A holographic universe, bro. Simulations. Anything we need. Right now, we're inside a computer program. Is it really so hard to believe? Your clothes are different. The plugs in your arms and head are gone. Your hair has changed. Your appearance now is what we call residual self-image. It is the mental projection of your digital self. Okay, so if we live in a matrix, my theory could be possibly right about it being a hologram in the sky. If we live in the matrix, dog. If we live in a holographic universe. Because... I want to believe in space because I like astrology. But if I was to be able to fly and I would fly straight up, would I go into space without dying? Could I go into space? Literally, literally, can I go into space or would I hit something? I'm just... I don't know. I'm going to keep on doing my research about this because I'm making correlations right now. I'm connecting the dots right now. Like, I'm really just trying to find out because, bro, everything is on a flat surface. I'm not sure if the earth is flat or if everything is just on a flat surface. But even if, even if everything is on a flat surface. Okay, so you have a flat surface. Well... Yeah, it's kind of like two flat surfaces. So you have the flat surface, which everything is built on. And then you have a bottom bottom, like a bottom, which the ocean's waters needs to be like sat on. You know what I'm saying? Because it, it needs to be a bottom of the ocean. You know what I'm saying? 
and then you have the top of the ocean which is, is just kind of like flat or whatever then everything else is on a flat surface but you can dig into earth you can dig in you know what i'm saying if you wanted to reach the earth's core you probably can't do that but you can dig in earth i can dig in the earth right now i can go outside and dig and dig and dig and dig and dig so everything is on a flat surface i'm just really focused on if it's a dome if it's a dome because like bruh i'm not sure if it's a dome or if it's a box because bro just like I said, the airplane has to fly according to the earth plane. So the sky might be flat. The sky might be flat or it might be a little dome, a holographic dome. But it might be flat or whatever because the sky has to correlate to the bottom. Just like if you're in your room right now or if you're in a building, you will see... That the top of the ceiling has to kind of correlate or like line up with the bottom. You know what I'm saying? Like the flat surface in your room, which everything is on. Everything is on a flat surface. And then you have the sky, the so-called ceiling, which aligns with the bottom of the room. I'm just not sure, dog. I just don't. Let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. I know I was everywhere with this, but just let me know what you think because I'm really trying to figure this out, bruh. So I got the facts. I have the facts. We live in the Matrix, a holographic universe. So therefore, the possibility of a hologram in the sky being real could be a possibility. Because, like I said, bro, when you are looking out, outside and it's sunny outside and then it goes from day to night, it's like something just erased the clouds and the blue sky. And then it's just dark. It's like it's it got erased. Like somebody literally just erased it, like erased the sky. And now you have like a dark space, like a dark with like little beams of light how the fuck does that even happen all right yeah the sun goes down and whatnot but like i don't know bro i'm just thinking like i'm just i'm just really thinking bro i'm just really thinking bro like is the earth flat or is everything on a flat surface yes everything is on a flat surface Y'all, y'all help me out in the comments down below. Like, don't watch this video and not comment. Like, help me figure this out. I just want to know. You know what I'm saying? I just want to know. Because it's crazy to me. Because, bro, everything is on a flat surface. People be like, bruh, if you go to Mount Everest, you can see the curve. My nigga, your eyes can only see but so far, though. Because if I was able to fly, I will fly past the curve that you see, the horizon that you see, and there will be more land. Or if I even, if I even get a drone... Or if I'm able to fly, if I'm flying up and I look down, everything going to be on a flat surface. But I'm all right. So this is what I are we in the earth or on the earth? Because if I if I if I'm able to fly and I fly up and I look down. And I go out into space. Will it be a sphere or will it be. Just flat. So this is what I mean, are, are we in the earth or on the earth? Because if we was on the earth, it would be a whole different story. But we in it.
Because look, bro, this is a so-called image of Earth. If I go in, if I go in, boom, go in. So that means I'm on something. So everything is on a flat surface, but how is everything on a flat surface? Like, how is it a ball? How is it still a ball if everything is on a flat surface, though? Or is it, or is it like this? Or is it like this? All right, so it might be a ball, but, like, in this ball is a circle, and that's the flat plane. It's a circle. You know what I'm saying? It's a circle. And in that circle is everything, like, everything built on that flat surface. And then you can dig down into the earth and then i guess you can leave the atmosphere but like you end this like you in that motherfucker like you go up and leave and then you can look down and like i guess see like a curve i'm not sure but like or is it just boom a flat surface but it's circular and then a dome on top of it but no bottom but i don't know though like how would that work though how am i still able to dig in the earth if I'm able to dig in the earth, that means we are in earth. But if I was on earth, if I was on it, I would just be on that motherfucker. Like, I would be on it, like, on this. Like, just on it. I don't know, y'all. Somebody help me figure this out, dog. Because I really don't know. Anyways, man, that's just my little theory. That's just, I'm just, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully, this has helped you get a better understanding of something because I'm trying to even understand, you know what I'm saying? Call me crazy, call me whatever, but shoot, I think everything is on a flat surface. I think this motherfucker is flat. I think it's flat. So, yeah. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and commenting. Stay positive, stay happy, and most of all, just be thankful. I'm out. Peace.